Okay, I almost fell out of my chair when I checked the export on my game with this house I built, and it came up to like three gig. Don't call me stupid. Um, and I even did the standard stuff, like I went through and I deleted all the other houses, and I did the standard trick of you select your objects and you check their materials, and you go back over to the materials, and you find your massive materials here, and then you go to inspect, and you can see their sizes. And these used to be 4K materials. I just knocked them down to 512. And after I did all thousand textures, I went back and checked my project export. And the project, once I did a build and run, it still came out to 1.8 gig. And things like itch.io, I don't think you can have over a gig of your export project. Anyway, um, all the tutorials say go through and decrease the texture resolution. As you can see here, it looks fine. So I went through and almost every texture in the place, I converted them all down from uh, down to 512 from 4K. And they still even look really good up close. You know, this is, you're not even gonna know this when you're playing the game. So no matter what I did, I could not get it below 1.8 gig. It was, it was killing me. And I don't really need it that high, but no matter what I did, no matter what I deleted or the resolution of the textures, never brought it down below this threshold. And then I just bumped into the setting. Um, I just found it accidentally, but if you go to build, build settings, and then you change your overrides, this will actually inspect every texture that is getting compressed into the game files and manually make sure it's never doesn't go over a certain threshold. So I'm going to do a max of 512 for this for this example let's do uh, 256 which is really small, all right? And we're going to force it to do compression. Normally it was uncompressed, no overrides, and we're just going to go ahead and um, build and run just for the example. So we go over Check our folder, and it's still 1.8 gig <laughs> because I'm a idiot. I forgot to click this, apply overrides, and then now it recompresses everything. Now, now 256 is a ridiculously small amount. You shouldn't see a little. Uh, breakdown in the granite, you would think. It's a little softer there, but while we're playing it and developing it, it's fine, right? Even if you go around here, you wouldn't know the difference unless you're actually sniffing the carpet, right? Even sniffing the carpet, it looks fine. But this looks fine. And then I wanna point out that it's not degradating. I mean, you could, it's not destructive. You can go back, reset that to a higher amount and get your quality back to sharpness. Now let's go ahead and see what that looks like now in our folder. And inspector properties. Now we're at 155 meg down from, from 1.8 gig. Okay, and just for kicks, let's go halfway. I'm gonna go and delete those files and set it back to 512. Something not quite 4K, which is 2048. We'll just go to 5K, a quarter of it, and apply. And let's see, the walls and everything still look the same. The granite was our only reference point, and some of that sharpness should have come back, and it did. And overall, if you didn't tell anybody, that's what the granite looks like. Right, but overall the quality of the game and the rooms, they look absolutely fine at 512. And let's go ahead and check that file size of our folder. And we're at 265 meg. How do you like them, All right, so hopefully that helps. Um, and again, I couldn't find this right away. Maybe it's common knowledge, but I'm a beginner, so yeah. Go ahead and uh, hope this helps. All right, later.